Getting to the bottom of a scandal at Milwaukee's Fire and Police Commission, the board tonight voting to investigate its own chairman and the leaked video of a controversial police interview. Stephanie Haynes live at City Hall with what will come next. Stephanie. Steve, the board wants this investigation to be as transparent as possible. One commissioner even suggested putting Chairman Stephen DeVogus on administrative leave, but DeVogus says that's distracting from what he calls the real issue, the leaked video. There was an unauthorized and illegal disclosure of sensitive crimes information that should have never been made public. That is the main issue, and that's what is the black eye on the department. Milwaukee Police and Fire Commission Chair Stephen DeVogus wants to focus on the leaked video, but he is also accused of an ethics violation for what that video shows. DeVogus, who is also a private attorney, sitting in on a police interview for a man who is also his client. DeVogus maintained that he was representing his client on a business, not criminal matter. At a meeting Thursday night, DeVogus said he still asked the ethics board to look into it. So me being involved or in the mix is a casualty or is really a red herring. The leak came in December, just as the board was discussing renewing Milwaukee Police Chief Alfonso Morales' contract. DeVogus also questions the timing. Well, I think that there was definitely a political angle to it. I think it was sloppy, um, but it definitely was a political angle because there's no reason. It's never happened. You can probably research. There's never been a leak of a whole entire investigatory file. Now the board wants to hire an outside investigator, potentially the state DOJ or the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Department. Some members from the public say they don't think that's necessary. You want to hire an attorney. You want you need some staff. You have a staff. The timeline and budgets for this investigation will be determined at a later date and DeVoga said he believes the Common Council will approve the funding for it. Live downtown Stephanie Haynes today's TMJ4.